Hey guys, it's Dana from MadeEveryday.com. Today I wanna to show you how to easily dye fabric from a white color to a really fun color at your house in a bowl without a lot of fuss. Dyeing fabrics is really fun, and I think sometimes there's a misconception that it is super messy and complicated and it ruins your washing machine. I don't even do it in my washing machine. I love to do it in a bowl, in my kitchen, it's really easy, and it's kind of an adventure. Every single time it turns out slightly different, and I love doing them on these little baby onesies because it doesn't take much fabric. They're super fun, cute, great to give as a baby gift, and sometimes for girls and for boys, it's hard to find that perfect shade you want. I mean this cool teal or a fun gray color, you have lots of choices. You can also dye fabric, you could dye elastic, all sorts of things that might need just a little bit of sprucing up with a fun shade. So here's what you need. Some white fabric or a garment, fabric dye, a bit of salt, a mixing bowl and spoon, and some gloves. Fabric dye comes in a lot of different shades and in a few different types. I purchased these at my local Joanne Fabric and Craft Store, and I love the variety that they have there. I'm using the RIT dye today that is in liquid form, which makes it really easy to just mix with your water, and this is best used on cotton-type fabrics. Now, Joanne also carries this other kind made by RIT, and it's meant for synthetic fabrics. That's something that you wanna be aware of if you're dyeing, say, some elastic that has some polyester in it or something like that, which I have dyed elastic before. It's super fun if you're making a cute circle skirt and you want an orange elastic or some other color. Now, you can also buy dye in this powder form. I prefer the liquid a little bit better just because it mixes really well, but if you wanna use the powder, that is fine. I would recommend mixing the powder in a small amount of water first before you put it in your large dye bath that you're doing. Okay. So let's get to it. Now typically I would dye fabric in my kitchen in a bowl in the sink. But for now, in my studio I have a plastic bag protecting my table and I'm going to put on some gloves here to protect my hands, which is really important because you don't want to end up with crazy looking fingers later. There we go. Now you want to get some really hot water, pour it into your bowl. And if you're just doing one, one onesie or a piece of fabric, you don't need a lot of liquid. So that picture was just enough. Then you wanna take your garment, and these onesies I also got at Joanna. I love that they carry that there. They also carry t-shirts, which makes it easy to just pick up everything at once. Now you wanna get your fabric wet first. I'm just gonna put it right here in the water. And that's important so that when you put the dye in, it absorbs everything evenly. And then you also wanna unbutton this so that everything can just flow through both parts of the onesie or your fabric or whatever you're doing. Okay, it looks like it's saturated enough. I'm just gonna wring this out and take it back out. Next thing you wanna do is add some salt. Now you wanna read the instructions on your dye packet and it will tell you some of these details, how much salt to add per pound of fabric, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know how much this weighs and I'm just doing one thing. So like I said, this is an adventure every time that I do it, but I think that's kind of fun. So I'm just adding some amount of salt. And to be honest, I don't always know how much good this does, but hey, salt's cheap. If it says to add it, I'm gonna add it. Okay, that looks good. Mix that up. Okay, that's pretty good. And then comes the fun part, adding in the dye. I'm going to do yellow because yellow is my favorite color. And oh, I forgot. I need to shake it first. Okay, now we can pour it in. Here we go. Maybe pour it lower to your bowl so it doesn't splash up on you. And that's pretty good. The amount that you put in, again, will vary how dark you want it, how light you want it, but I think it's better to err on the side of adding more dye. Let me say that again. It's better to buy a lighter fabric dye and leave your garment in for longer than to buy a dark fabric dye and leave them for shorter, if that makes sense, because it will evenly distribute better the longer that you leave it in the dye. Okay, mixing this up really well. Then comes the magic. Okay, we're ready to put our little piece of fabric in here. Here it goes. All the way down in. Okay, there you go. Ah, 
Okay, but that's not gonna be long enough. You wanna leave it in here. And now I'm taking my hands and I'm just kind of rubbing it all around and smushing it all around. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like massaging a little piece of fabric. Swirl it around. The instructions on your container will tell you to stir it constantly for a certain amount of time. I don't always do that. Again, I'm a little experimental with this stuff. I like to just mix it around for a while and then sometimes I'll walk away and you know, go load the dishwasher, go put kids to bed, whatever are the bazillion things that you're doing at home with your kids as a mom. Then I come back and I stir it again and then I walk away for a while and then I come back. Sometimes I do these for about 15 minutes. You can do them for longer, you can do them for less. But like I said, it's better if it's in for, I don't know, probably at least five to 10 minutes than just one minute. And I've seen people do all sorts of fun stuff. Like you can get an ombre effect if you put it, let's see, yes, put it all the way in and then put in a little bit more and then put it, that kind of takes a while, but it's kind of cool also. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and I'll stir it off and on. Okay, this has been sitting for about 15 minutes and I think it looks like a great shade. Something else that is kind of fun with these is that, like I said, this is for cotton fabric, this type of dye. And sometimes the thread is a more of a synthetic fabric, so it doesn't dye and stays white. Or the little tags. And I think that's kind of cute. It's a fun element. Okay, now keep in mind that whatever shade you see here is gonna be slightly darker than it will look after rinsing it and after washing it. So if you start rinsing and you feel like it looks too light, well, just stick it back in and do it for a little bit longer. That is the fun thing about dyeing fabric. And since I only used a little bit, I can still use this a bunch more times. Okay, I'm rinsing this out into my bowl. Now I'm gonna take it to the sink and rinse it with some water. I'm just rinsing here with some hot water. And you just wanna do this for, oh, I don't know, a few minutes. You just keep filling it with water, wringing it out. You just wanna do it until you see that there is no more dye coming out into your sink. I like to open this up, make sure it's going through the inside. Sometimes you can hold on to the bottom. Or it's also nice if you have one of these kind of sinks to bring it down. Just kind of really get the water in there. This yellow is a really pretty color and I love how it works great for boys or girls. Okay, so when you wring it out and the water is clear, which it looks like it is now, then you're done. Now, I'm just gonna lay this here for a second while I go make sure my washing machine is ready for washing. Okay, our fabric is ready to be washed and I like to just throw it in my washing machine with other things that are similar colors that need to be washed. I always make sure I put in one of these color catcher sheets and if you were giving this to someone as a gift, you might include a couple sheets and just mention to them this has been hand dyed and they might wanna use those the first few times. Okay, let's stick it in and then we'll see how it looks. And here we go, there's the finished product, washed and dried, and that is such a beautiful shade. I love this. I don't think you could find a pre-made onesie like this in the store. That is the fun thing about dyeing your own fabric. You get to decide what you want. Okay, now if you were giving this as a baby gift, I would recommend adding some other items to it, like a baby circle skirt in confetti fabric. Yeah. Maybe a bib to go with that, most certainly. Or if you have a little boy, a beautiful minty turquoisey onesie with some little baby leggings and a little pom-pom hat. Wrap them on up and your gifts are ready to go. So go grab a bottle of fabric dye and have fun on your adventure. It's to die for. <laughs> too much, too much. For more ideas and tutorials, visit my website madeeveryday.com. And for all of your fabric dye, craft, and fabric needs, head to your local Joanne store or visit joanne.com. I'll see you next time, bye.